Hello, my name is Sean. Welcome to the channel. And today, I want to bring the first video for 2022 by talking about my five favorite cars from 2021. And I know, generally speaking, people like to bring this as the last video for the year. But I like to do it a little different by making it one of my first videos. So I'm not going to beat around the bush. I'm going to get straight to the point and give you number five. Uh, and that's the Porsche GT3. And yes, I know people aren't big on the GT3. The GT3 RS is coming out. Uh, the Turbo S is faster. And the GT4 is probably better and costs less money. But I love this car and wish I had the opportunity to drive it so I could actually gauge its performance and really have a reason to put it on this list but as it is right now I can't drive the car so I can only go by the numbers and what I see with my physical eyes and I just love this car and I think if I was to drive it I would love it even more having never experienced a Porsche before and can you really have a top five list of anything without a Porsche 911 I really don't think so and that number four is probably not going to be a surprise to anyone. The Mercedes AMG GT Black Series. What haven't I said about this car? If you've seen the cars I would most love to have in my dream garage, you know this is a car that is in that list. And it is here today because I do believe it is one of the best sports cars, supercars, GT cars on the road today. I really haven't seen one bad review about this car as of yet. So, yeah, one of the top five cars of 2021 is the Mercedes AMG's GT Black Series. I really can't speak um, any more praising words for that car, even though I've never driven it. And at number three, it's probably a bit of a cheat because this car didn't come out in 2021, but it's going to be the Chevy Corvette Z06. Now, I'm not going to harp on how great I believe the Z06 is going to be because I did a lot of that during Corvette Week. And if you missed that week, there's a link in the description. So go ahead and watch it. Hear my opinion on the Z06 and Corvettes in general. I believe this is going to be a really great car and probably the best Corvette to the ZR1 comes out. And at number two, we have the Lamborghini Huracan STO. The STO is probably the craziest Lamborghini to ever Lamborghini. It's probably the craziest production Lamborghini that isn't a limited production or a one-off car with a V12. I didn't believe there was a Huracan out there that could outdo the Performante, but this car does that and then some. And that's really why I made this car number two on today's list. And number one, and please, nobody get on me because this wasn't on purpose. I'm just reading off the list, and this is how I read it, is the Ferrari Competizione. If you've seen my Competizione video, you know that I was not a fan of this car styling. Just to me, it was doing a little too much. And then the Aperta version caught my eye, and I liked that car a little bit more then. Now the coupe is starting to draw my eye more, so it's a changing field every day. But to me, it's hard to beat the TDF and the F12 and Stalin. That's one of the best-looking V12 Ferraris ever, in my opinion. But looks aren't everything. What really makes this one of my favorite cars is the performance or the potential performance when compared to the TDF. I really can't wait for them to compare the competition to the TDF. I think the TDF is the benchmark for great performing modern Ferraris. And I really do hope this car meets those benchmarks and meets my expectations. And that's going to be it for my five favorite cars of 2021. Now, I just want to say that this isn't the best of video. Uh, I think it would be unfair for me to say what the best car is, seeing that I don't drive or review cars as of yet. Maybe someday in the future we can do that and then make that list. But for right now, these are my favorite cars. And I'm probably going to do a most anticipated car for 2022 because there are a few cars I'm actually looking forward to and have been looking forward to for some years now. And I can't wait to see them in some capacity in 2022. And before I forget, I want to remind people that I am doing a 100,000 
subscriber challenge for this year or for whenever I meet a hundred thousand subs. I do a crazy challenge every year and see if I can get close to that that goal. And this year I've decided I'm going to try to get a hundred thousand subscribers and I'm hoping you guys will subscribe to the channel and you know help me reach that goal. So if you like the video, like the video. If you dislike the video, dislike the video. If you want to see what I got planned next, come see what I got planned next. I got a lot of stuff for this channel. Really want you guys to be there with me. And with that said, I'll catch you later.